right, let's see how we can create this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to this lecture. So in this lecture, we're going to be creating this type of text animation. Now, um, don't get me wrong, you can do it easily. This is something easy. But of course, uh, if it's your first time doing it, it may seem uh, it may seem hard for you. Okay, so first thing first here we have to do is that I'll click on the effects library. After that, I have to look for generators and look for the solid color and just bring it here in a timeline. Now just pay attention to this. I have the solid color right here and the text animation or the visual effects I want to I wanna do, it has to be done in the um, Fusion tab. So if I click on Fusion tab and we go to Fusion, you will notice that we have nothing here. We don't have the media in notes and the media in out. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. We don't have the media in node and the media outs node available. Why? Because this is a generator and it's not counted as a clip. So we have to transform that to a clip in order for us to do the animation. So we have to change this generator into a clip so we can work in the Fusion tab. Otherwise, it's not going to be possible. So I'm just going to zoom in here like this. And I'm going to right click on the generator and click right here on New Compound Clip. Let's name it something like Text Animation. Create. Now if I go back to the Fusion tab, you can see that we have our media in and media out node. So that's exactly what we want. I'm just going to put them together. Next step here is that I want to unlink those two. So I'm just going to click on this yellow line. And here we go. All right. First thing we need a rectangle. So. I will hover over this rectangle looking icon and as I hover over it, you can see that it says background down here. So we need this background. I'm going to click here and then I have my background and I'll click here and it will appear on this screen, on the left screen. Let's give it a, a nice color, something else than black. Okay, this, let's go with this cyan looking color. And here, of course, we have type, so you can choose, do you want to have solid, vertical, horizontal, or four corner color? I'll go with the four corner. Next thing here, we need a rectangle, because we want to do rectangle animation effect, so it's only natural that we're going to need the rectangle. So there, here, is the rectangle. As you can see, as I hover over it, it says rectangle. So just click here and click here so it will appear on the right monitor. Here we go. So, as you can see right here, I have the color of the background inside the rectangle. And of course, we can't leave it like this. It's not gonna be possible to put a text inside this rectangle. So what we need to do is just to invert this fill color. And how do we do that? is we, we won't check the invert option right here. We will just uncheck the solid color. Now we have an empty rectangle, but you can see that we have uh, some empty strokes as well. Worry not, we just need to increase the width of these strokes. So just increase the borders right here. About, you can increase it how much you can increase it as much as you want. I think I will probably leave it like this. So my playhead is at the beginning of the sequence. This is good. And then just sort of adjust the shape of your uh, rectangle. 
So here in filter we have fast Gaussian. Now I want to change that to box because fast Gaussian, Gaussian is sort of a blurry effect or filter. You can soften the edges right here, just like that. So if you if you want, I don't want to. And of course you can adjust the width, the the heights, and everything else right here. Okay. So now we are happy with that. We just need to add in some animation. So I want it to start like this, okay? And then I'd want it to expand like this, just about here. So I'm gonna close it here, and then click on this uh, dot or toggle, and then click on this dot. And then here I'm gonna move my playhead again, just about here and open this just about here okay now if I click play here we go So now what do we need is the text node. Okay, so this is the text plus feature. I'm just gonna put it here and here. So I'm gonna write my text, something like Adam's Tutorials, the name of my YouTube channel. Choose a font. I'm gonna go with this one, bold. like this, and then maybe just increase the size. Put my playhead right in the beginning. Here's the size. No. And then for the color, we want a nice color that will suit the cyan color we have. So probably something like this, like orange to yellow to green probably choose the uh, orange I'm not liking this orange very much so probably the yellow let's see okay this one is sort of a yellowish orange so I'm gonna keep this color but now I have to make the text appear right here within the rectangle and the background we need a merge node so this is the merge node right here. Once we have the merge node, I can just take the background and connect it to the merge node. And now just click right here to see what's going on inside this node. Now we have our text behind uh, this rectangle or background. Okay, so you can see the text, it's behind the background so we can Place this text however we want. There we go. Okay, so now it's time to animate the text. So I want, so I'm gonna decrease the size of the text, just like this, about here, and then click on this dot. And again, here, I'm gonna click play. Then about here, I'm going to increase the size of the text. Just about here. Okay, so now if I click play, you can see how it looks. Looks good looks amazing now we have the choice you can either leave it here or you can make it disappear again so if you want this to disappear again we I'll, I'll just move the playhead here go to the background again click on this dot 
then move here right to the end of times I'm just kidding right to the end and close it okay I'm gonna do the same thing for the text so the size will stay normal there so click and then here we will make the text disappear again so now if we play everything so it's like this boom we have it it stays there for a while and then it shrinks back to disappear okay now that looks a little bit slow we can ease in and out like in adobe after effects and premiere so how do we ease in and out in um, DaVinci Resolve? We just go to the S-Pline or Spline or whatever you want to call it. So we click, I'm just going to increase the size of this window, check everything. Here you go. Increase it more. So what we have here. So I'm going to select everything and click on F for Fox. Okay, that will smooth in, smooth in everything. Then we can just click on these handles and maybe increase the length a little bit. It's about there. Sorry about this. I'm, I'm just using a pencil. Sometimes it gets difficult to click on stuff. No, I did add an anchor point, which is bad for the business. Usually, normally it should be two. Okay, three up, okay. So again, just click here and drag. Click here and drag. See what's going on now. Okay, I know it looks slower, but this is normal because it's playing inside of Resolve and it trimmed right in the same time. So it takes a lot of memory and it's and it's slow a little bit. But once we're in there, we'll see the difference. Okay, so that cool. Now we just have to connect everything together. So we can move to something else. So I'm going to connect the media into the merge node and the merge node to the media out. So I'm going to render this and see how it looks. Now, I want to say in the uh, upcoming lectures, I have a lecture that talks just about the text plus feature and how you can animate text in a different ways and also I want to mention that we will get into the render tab and talk about different way you can render your projects later on uh, in the course so choose mp4 and add to queue and let's render everything it already exists okay i put another t here Save, render. Okay, it's rendered. Let's open file and location. And let's click and see how it looks. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Looks fine. Okay, so now for the final touch. 
So we need to add the background behind the text. Or you can leave it like this if you wish, it's not a problem. So how do we add the background? You just import a picture into DaVinci Resolve, any kind of picture that you want. And then I'm going to put this up here and put the picture behind, just like that. Okay. Now you can see that we can still see some black. This picture is not good. We can adjust the size of the picture as well. In the inspector. So I'm just going to zoom in like, like this. So if I click play now. Okay, it's slow. Probably I'm going to have to render again. Okay, let's see how it looks now. I'm just opening the file. I think it's here anyway. With Pix, with so click on play, and here you have it. Okay, here we go. Now I want to say congratulations. Now you just made your first motion graphic in DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions, just let me know in the questions uh, section. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next lecture.